see how ESN and IPO members arrested in Imo states. IPO and ESN members arrested in Imo states. Dozens of indigenous people of Biafra network ESN have been arrested in Imo states. They were apprehended after the attack on Omunma and Injaba police facilities. Emmanuel Neji, a native of Awala in Edioto South local government area, who earlier sustained bullet wounds, was first napped. Naji mentioned a hotel in Ulu where the ESN gathered to plan their assaults against government facilities. Next says, U.S. delivered Moderna vaccines to Nigeria. COVID-19 as U.S. De de delivers 4 million dozens of vaccine in Nigeria to combat pandemic embassy reports the u.s mission to nigeria has stated that the 4080 moderna vaccines donated to nigeria was part of president joe Biden's commitment to combat the global covid 19 pandemic miss kathleen with Gibbon, the deputy chief of Mission U.S. Embassy, said that at the official handover of the COVID-19 of the vaccine, had a national briefing of the presidential serving committee on COVID-19 on Monday in Abuja. It is in God's end. Why speaks on Southeast changes? According to report, Governor David Umayi of Ebony State has hinted on the changes of the Southeast producing Nigeria's next president in 2023. David Umayi, the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, said that the changes of the Southeast producing Nigerian president in 2023 lies in the hands of God. The governor spoke on Channel Television on Monday, Monday night while responding to a question on the changes of the South is producing the next president of Nigeria. PDP will take government both may be worse than APC. Suli Lamido reports. The former governor of Jigawa State and a People's Democratic Party PDP chieftain said that he is confident his party will form government after the 2023 general election. He, however, said that the party may be worse than the All Progressive Congress APC. Lamido, who disclosed that who disclosed this in an interview with newsmen said that the APC have proven to Nigerians to be a failed party because of its inability or to fulfill all campaign promises. Federal government post 1,800 corps members to bandit plague Plage Nasarawa. According to the report, the National Youth Service Corps NYSC has put 1,800 corps members in Zamfara under the 2021 Batch B program. <laughs> this is interesting. The NYSC coordinator in Zamfara, Namanam. Muhammad Taru disclosed this on Monday at the 
swearing in ceremony of the corps members had the permanent orientation camp in Slefe local government area in Nasara State. Mr. Muhammad Dara further noted that the NYSC designed its orientation course as a platform for physical and mental detained trainings of youths to face challenges of the service year and beyond. Thank you for listening to this news. Wow. <laughs> According to the first headline that says IPOP members and ESN were arrested by um arrested by police men. You can imagine. You can imagine. What as if people, uh, what what exactly did, did they do? According to the report, they said they attacked police stations again. You can imagine they are always attacking police station. That is all. They, uh, not saying that they attacked truly, but these are the, 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 the allegations. They they always level against them. Is always attacking. They are always attacking a, a, a police station. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Always attacking police station. This is unbelievable. This is just not true. It's a big lie from the pit of hell. You can imagine. So they attacked police station. Police station. <laughs> this is so funny. Very, very, very funny. You can imagine. Always committing crime, which is a big lie. Whenever they arrest anybody, whenever anybody is being arrested, any all reporters will say, "Oh, this person is a is an IPOP member. He was arrested because he, he, he kidnapped in Sosu State. They were arrested because they killed Sosu so, so people. They were arrested because they burned down police. St- it's always these three things, which is just a propaganda." Yes, it's a big propaganda. You can imagine, when would they stop accusing or sending wrong allegations on ESM, ESM members? When would they stop this? They should stop this with immediate effect because huh, if they refuse to stop this, I think this will cause war because by the time ESN and ESN, ESN and IPO member members, if they charge, and say enough is enough for all these negative allegations, untruth allegations levied against them. It's now time for them to fight this federal, federal government. They're trying to tarnish the image of these people, which they will never succeed. Yes, they won't. So viewers, please, I will hold you to it. Drop your comment below the comment box and click on the subscription button to receive notifications whenever we upload any videos. Thank you.